Hey guys, it's Practical Psychology here, and after my video on how to tell if a girl likes you a lot, got a lot of great feedback, I decided to make a video on 10 psychological ways to get a girl to like you. First off, I want to say that these are ethical and aren't manipulative, but will, in the end, make a girl subconsciously be attracted to and want to be around you more. So number one, have your own life. This is like literally the foundation of starting a great relationship and will give you the starting base to make her like you. Think of it like this. If someone tries to sell you this amazing new book with all kinds of secret life formulas that will make you rich, happy, get a six pack in three days, and become a new world leader, and the marketing and packaging of the book looks great, but then you open it and read it and all it says is, life is short. You don't need these things. Buy more books for better advice. When you are trying to get in a relationship or make a girl like you, and you have a boring life, this is literally what you're doing. Imagine having an amazing life and doing awesome things that you say, Hey girl, I really like having you around. You want to stick around? And that's all it takes. Make your own personal life interesting and girls will flock. Tip number two, have an interesting hobby or passion. Here's another super interesting tip that is hard to find elsewhere on the internet. Literally having just one passion will make you seem more interesting, plus it adds respect to tip number one. You're starting your own life. Your hobby can be anything that you're passionate about, just make sure it's true passion and not faked. If I said I love chainsaws and carving chainsaw art in my free time, but I actually didn't, the sparkle wouldn't be there and the girl won't see it. When you are actually passionate about something, your girl will notice. There's something infinitely sexy about a guy with an intense passion towards something. It could be programming, motorcycling, cooking, drawing, reading, playing an instrument, and anything else that suits your fancy. Just put in the time. Bonus points if you create something in the process. Tip number three, have great hygiene. Okay guys, number one tip to instantly make a girl attracted smell good. I don't even mean smell amazing, you just have to smell decent. Go take a shower, rub body soap all over you. Twice. Now shampoo your hair, dry yourself off, apply good deodorant, put clean clothes on, and you're set. No need to douse yourself with half a gallon of Axe body spray, you just have to smell presentable. You can, though, buy some cologne and spray one squirt, two squirts max. I recommend one on the wrist and one near your neckline. This is all it takes to smell great, and girls fall for great smelling guys all the time. Tip number four, ask her to do things for you. So this is definitely a secret tip and maybe even a bit manipulative, but definitely not anything evil or negative. Just ask her to do something for you. There's a psychological effect called the Benjamin Franklin effect that goes like this. You ask a girl to do something for you, she does it, and in the end she subconsciously likes you just a bit more. You might be asking why though. Well, when we do stuff for people, our brain thinks since we're doing something for them, we must like them. Now Benjamin Franklin used this techniques on his rivals and political opponents to get him to like him more. Also, there's something called the consistency bias. After someone has done something for you a couple of times, they're more likely to do more just because they don't want to look inconsistent. Tip, ask for things like picking up a pencil, for notes in class, giving someone a paper, or even small errands. But don't overdo it though or she'll feel like you're using her. Tip number five, make her laugh. This is a great tip and you may not think you're funny, but the truth is everyone can be funny if they try. You have to put yourself in enough situations to get used to the awkwardness of telling an unfunny joke, enough that you have the confidence to tell more jokes around people. The more you tell, the better you will get. Girls love laughing, and the more that you can make them laugh, the higher up in their social chain you will seem. It proves that you're intellectually strong and humorous, which is a desirable trait in a future mate. Also, this will give you the chance to see where her eyes are going whenever she laughs, to see if she's interested in you at all. Tip number six, be her friend. Now there's a big difference between being her friend and being friend zoned. Also, I want to note, it's been proven and totally acceptable to be in the friend zone for months at a time and then move in and start dating. So go the extra mile and do stuff that makes her smile. Do things that other guys wouldn't do. Stuff like leave little notes in her car, send her good morning texts, talk her through problems and sympathize with her. In fact, in doing these, you're practically halfway already dating her. You just have to tell her that you want her for the rest of your life and you're basically set, right? Tip number seven, break the touch barrier. Here's a good subconscious psychological tip that works amazingly well in many situations. Touch her shoulder, ask her for something and grab it out of her hand. Or make up some game that requires to touch and play it with her, like rock, paper, scissors. Come up with a cool handshake if you have to. The idea is to make her know that you're willing to touch her in a non-sexual way because you feel comfortable around her and to get a reaction. If she seems disgusted or scared, don't touch her anymore. Number eight, tell her secrets. Tell her a secret about you, something personal that not very many people know. This will open the door for trust, and as you tell her more things about you, she will notice that you trust her. 
and in turn, she will trust you more. Psychologically, we like and trust people who trust us first because we have a natural instinct to be wary of new people and not to trust them. So when you prove that you trust her, she will start to reciprocate in the same fashion. Now, I recommend telling her secrets that you'd be okay with if other people knew, just in case she tells someone. But make sure they're personal and make sure they would be considered a secret. Bonus points if they're things that are slightly embarrassing. Something like you have 11 toes or you're voting for Trump should do fine. Tip number nine, give her all of your attention. In a world where your attention can go anywhere, it is one of the most valuable things you can give a girl. If you want her, pay attention to her, and not just for a couple minutes. Look her in the eyes when she's talking to you and make mental note of all the stuff she's talking about. If you can mention it in later conversations, she'll feel special and start to enjoy your presence. This works with anyone. The last tip is to beef up your confidence game. I'll be making a video soon on some amazing secret tips that you can do each day to boost your confidence game. This has a lot to do with being self-aware and knowing what makes you awkward and insecure, and working on yourself and improving this to become more secure and confident who you are as a person. The best general advice I can give you to become more confident and to make a girl like you is to work out regularly. If you're in middle school or high school, I suggest three days a week, arms, legs, and core slash cardio. Now, near the end of high school and during college, you can get into more advanced schedule and supplements and I might go into that kind of stuff in topics in future videos thanks for watching guys and click the like button if I should make more psychological tip videos I hope these tips added value to your life and if you want more psychologically thrilling videos that teach you awesome stuff subscribe